I've plaited little bits in the front of my hair and I don't know if it's cute or not. Down, yeah. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Moi Freeney here. I hope you're having a gorgeous day wherever you are. Today I am filming a summer try on haul, which I am super excited about. The charity shops are finally open, so this is mostly going to be thrifted items. I also picked up some stuff from Depop, and I have a few sustainable companies which I want to share with you as well. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's start with the pieces which I got off Depop. My Depop is at Moi M. If you're wondering, I don't have anything up for sale at the minute. However, I do have a big pile of clothes which. I want to sell at some point so I will let you guys know over on Instagram whenever I get around to doing that. I like to use Depop to search for branded items or specific things which I know I want. I just find it easier to like use the search bar that way. I haven't really delved into the vintage side of Depop. I don't know I think it's quite overwhelming and I kind of enjoy the satisfaction of finding things myself in a charity shop but if you guys know any good vintage UK based shops in Depop please leave them down below because I kind of want to get started on that. The first thing which I searched for is the iconic American apparel white tennis skirt and what a throwback. I used to love American Apparel back in the day. I had those like sunflower shorts in 2013 and I thought I was such like a Tumblr bitch or whatever. I have been seeing this sporty look a lot on Instagram and my girl Nina Florence was looking like a hot tennis pro the other day and I just really wanted to get a tennis skirt. I don't own like a nice white skirt anyways. With American Apparel you know that you're going to get like good quality items no matter what. This fabric is really thick and it's actually really clean. The seller obviously didn't wear it that much. I know the minute I wear this I'll probably spill coffee or drink on it which is quite upsetting to know that I will probably do that in the future. But yeah I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this this summer. I think it would look really cute for like parties or going out with like a little crop top. I mean like who's going out? in this situation, hypothetical parties. But you can also dress it down and make it more casual with like a hoodie or a jumper. This was 15 pounds, which is actually pretty good for American Apparel. Normally their skirts would be 45 or 60, I wanna say, but I also think the company went bust, so that's a bit awkward. I got a size XS, which I think was a bit ambitious of me. I don't know, I am normally an XS, but I feel American Apparel stuff runs really small because this is like, tight like just about fits though I have been on my period and eating a lot of Ben and Jerry's so that might yeah explain it anyway I'm super happy about this and I'm very excited to style her so you'll be seeing it a lot on my Instagram next I was on the hunt for a new pair of blue denim jeans which I deem a complete necessity because I have worn my Levi 501s to death there are rips across both cheeks of my ass and I will get them patched up at some point but in the meantime I wanted to get a proper nice sturdy pair of jeans and in particular I was searching for the Levi ribcage because they are the perfect pair of jeans. I cannot emphasize more how flattering they are. They are like super high waist, the perfect straight leg, just all round chef's kiss. So I had my like exact size in the exact style which I was searching for which made it really easy and I was like okay this is gonna be grand. I'm gonna find the perfect pair of jeans. What could possibly go wrong? Do you see that? I don't understand. I am actually baffled. Both of these are Levi Ribcage Waist 25, yet there is like an inch difference and I'm just, I'm so confused and it was so annoying because I thought I had my exact size. But yeah, aside from that, I am really happy with them. I actually got a longer length. I think it was 30 or 32, um, just so that they kind of like cover my shoes a bit and kind of give off that skater boy look, I don't know. I know that these are gonna be a staple in my wardrobe. I can literally wear them with anything and the quality is so good, they're super thick. I paid 45 pounds for them, which is a lot for a second hand pair of jeans. However, like the rib cage, I think sell for normally 90 to 100 so it's not too bad and they were still in perfect condition and I absolutely love the shade of blue it's like the perfect shade of denim for me and yeah on a whole an 8 out of 10 I wish it was a 10 out of 10 but it's an 8 let's move on to the things which I thrifted or well got in the charity shop because we don't have huge thrift stores here unfortunately don't worry I'm gonna wash everything before I try it on I was super careful and I like, used hand sanitizer and whatnot I'm just so happy that the charity shops are open because I actually miss them so much it's like my hobby First up, I'm going to show you a few things which I got in Dublin, which I showed in the vlog, so if you haven't seen it, I'll leave it linked down below. I found this huge silk Massimo Duty shirt, and initially I thought I was going to thrift flip it. The material is so pretty and the colour is stunning, but I actually washed it because I was really curious to see how it would look on, and not going to lie, I'm like low-key vibing with it. Kind of giving me blood, sweat, tears era, if you know, you know, but 
just like the whole sleeve action i love the sleeve detail and the little like buttons there and even though it's a size 12 it kind of fits me nicely oversized and i can definitely see myself like wearing this with some jeans for like a nice dinner or if i have to like get a little bit more dressed up let me know down below if you think that i should thrift flip it or if i should leave it for a bit i don't know i'm kind of more inclined to like leave it for a few months just because it's so beautiful and i don't really want to like ruin it the fabric is obviously so nice it's like 100 percent silk and i love the color i think it's like a really flattering color for me so i'm very happy i picked that up and the next thing which i picked up in dublin is this really cute little fuzzy white t-shirt i think it is adorable it's definitely vintage you can tell from the label i absolutely love like the lace detailing along the neckline and the material is like super soft it is a will and gore mix which is really cool one of my main tips for thrifting is definitely to check the materials because i tend to pick items which are more like natural fabrics so like cotton linen wool silk because i know that they're like higher quality and that they're going to last and they feel nicer on the skin obviously like it doesn't really matter if you like the item but you know you're gonna get like a good quality piece if it's like a natural fabric and yeah I'm super happy with this I think it's adorable it's kind of like an elevated version of your basic white tee and it's good for an Irish summer because even though it's like summery it can still keep you warm on like the cooler days and evening I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this and I feel like it'll transition really well into autumn so I'm very happy I picked this up and it was only three euros which is fantastic next i venture to a few of the charity shops of rhyming which are some of my favorites just because they're really well priced and i swear not that many people go to them so i know i'm always going to find something good there first up from the oxfam where my mum works i got this really cute like pastel yellow sweater vest and like i'm kind of digging the style of it it's like cute grandma which i wouldn't normally venture towards but the color is just so pretty it's obviously like really trendy for the summertime i don't know i feel like i would see something like this being sold on revolve or something for like 100 200 pounds it's a really interesting material it's like really heavy duty and i thought it would be like knit or something but it's actually 100 percent silk which is bizarre but i guess that means it's like really good quality i think this is gonna be a really interesting piece to style for summertime and it was only four pounds which isn't bad for 100% silk and it is in a size medium so I'm not sure if it's going to be too big for me if it is I know my mum really liked it so I can always give it to her the next thing which I found in Oxfam is this really cute little cropped cardigan this was only two pounds which is an absolute bargain and I don't know I just really like the style I love the color and like the I don't know eyelet detail this kind of looks like something that you get at Brandy Melville so I was really into it and I know this is going to be like a good staple for summertime you can wear it with like jeans or like a little skirt cardigans are such an easy thing to find at a charity shop i swear there are loads but this one really caught my eye because it was cropped and i don't really have anything like it and it's gonna be super lightweight and cute for summertime and from the next charity shop i found this little white leather bag um it was only 275 which is so good this is obviously like a really trendy 90s style which has been going on for i swear like the past year or whatever i really like small bags i think they're actually really handy and you can fit quite a lot in it like this one is quite big you could definitely fit like your camera a phone a wallet a nagging if you're so inclined and i don't have a white bag so i thought this would be a good addition to my collection i just think it's gonna like look really good for summertime outfits and for just like finishing off a look and if i don't get that much use out of it i know that i can just like list this on my depop because it's like a cute trendy piece so I'm really happy about that. The next thing which I got, I found on the one pound reel, which was like super exciting. It is this 100% silk blouse. I know I'm on like such like a silk binge this haul, but I absolutely love that fabric. At first I was kind of apprehensive just because of the colors. I don't know if the colors are really me. They're very like muted and a bit like old fashioned, dare I say, but I love the sleeves. I think the sleeves are so cool and they have this like really flowy, like bell sleeve cap i don't i don't know what that was called you can wear this like two ways you can tie it up at the front or like tie it round the waist i think it's like a really cute summer top and if i don't get that much use out of it i know i can always sell it on my depop i just couldn't pass it up it was only a pound and it's a really nice silk blouse the next thing which i picked up isn't the most exciting but i got a pair of nike nike or nike is it nike nike comment down below which one it is i think it's nike anyway this pair of like running shorts i lost like 50 percent of my workout gear between the transition of new york and home like i don't know where everything went because i obviously had to pack up everything and clear out my room so i needed a new pair of running shorts and i really like the color of these these are in an xs they were only three pounds so i thought 
why not pick them up i like the way that they're double layered they have like that spandexy material underneath so you're not going to flash anyone whenever you're at the gym and yeah these are just like an essential and i just needed new workout clothes next i want to share with you a few sustainable companies who kindly gifted me some items which is so exciting and i'm so gassed about it first up we have organic basics which i'm sure you guys have heard of they ethically produce like everyday essentials using eco-friendly materials which is really really cool you're obviously not really going to be going to the thrift store or charity shop for things like underwear and i've been searching for a more sustainable alternative so i was super happy whenever these guys reached out to me if you guys are interested you can use my code moya obc for 10 percent off your order this video is not sponsored i'm just like super excited to support them and i really love what they're doing so go check them out and you can grab yourself a discount i picked out the white briefs the matching bralette and the tank top and i am absolutely obsessed with the bralette it is so pretty i think it is so cute i love like the band across the bottom and the fabric is so soft it is really flattering on and it's just like a really good everyday bralette to be wearing i got the excess which fits me perfectly and yeah i'm definitely gonna be getting so much use out of this next i received this bikini from you swim which i already shared on my instagram i am in love look Look at the color of this it is literally incredible they are such a cool company they have like this body positive ethos and it's all ethically made in england which is really cool this bikini fits seven sizes in one it's meant to stretch to your body type and kind of like just feel like a second skin and i am so here for it it is one of the comfiest and most flattering bikinis i've ever put on my body i don't know i just feel like so confident in it i love the lilac color and like the straight across neckline the bottoms are kind of cheeky but for me still like appropriate to wear in front of my family a lot of my bikinis i wouldn't wear in front of my parents just because they are like so cheeky but these have like ample coverage and they're really cute and stretchy and you can kind of like hoist them up nice and high waist to make your legs look longer i cannot recommend this enough it is so pretty so soft and i just want to like go for a swim imminently in this it's so cute that is everything which i picked up recently i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe if you haven't already i'll also link my instagram and my socials down below so you can go follow me and we can be friends it'll be great and um, yeah i hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are sending my love and i'll talk to you guys next week yeah i've been feeling so i've been feeling so